going on guys so uh driving in pretty heavy traffic right now and i know a lot of you like comment on this kind of stuff and go stop it but uh i've been thinking about no way home and i have a few theories as to what happens after uh you know all the villains get cured and get sent back to their respective worlds so let's get into that so basically uh we all know that the three Peters work together to cure all the villains and turn them back into regular people before sending them back to their worlds. Um, and we know that they were each pulled from their world prior to them uh, becoming good. So, like, for example, uh, with Dr. Octopus, like, before he has the revelation at the end of the movie and, like, drowns himself to save the city, uh, well, while he was still bad, that's when he gets sucked into uh, the MCU. Or for Electro, it was right after the fight with uh, Andrew. Um, I guess while well, he was like in the power grid or some shit. I, I, yeah. So, and then there's Sandman, who uh, hadn't come clean to Peter about the whole Uncle Ben thing yet. So he was still like a misunderstood villain. So, like I said, they were all uh, pretty much evil uh, while they got pulled into this universe. So after they get cured, right, um, they're all regular people and they get sent back. This all starts with Norman Osborn. So he gets cured of the goblin thing and goes back to essentially Spider-Man 1, where technically if there's no green goblin, then the whole ending fight doesn't happen. Uh, Norman doesn't get killed by his glider. And indirectly... Uh, there's no new goblin in Spider-Man 3, so if, you know, Norman never dies, Harry never has the vendetta against Spider-Man, and never becomes the goblin himself. So, does that mean the third movie is just Venom and Sandman? I guess so. And then Dr. Octopus, of course, he gets, uh, the inhibitor chip put back into his, uh, spine. Of course, they couldn't, like, unweld the fucking metal arms off his body, but at least, uh, you know, Peter gave him the ability to control them. So with that, I don't know, he got the surgery in his world and got the arms removed, I guess. That's what I'm assuming. So there was no ending fight there. I mean, his wife's still dead, RIP. But, you know, he probably just went back to being a scientist or whatever with a metal spine. Sandman got cured. So when he went back, he just... I don't know if he turned good and was just trying to, like, look for his daughter. Or if he went back to robbing banks to steal money for her. I doubt it, because maybe he had some sort of, like, like re revelation in that moment. But, like I said, he hasn't really had the talk with Peter yet uh, from the end of the movie. So, this version of Sandman was still like, fuck it, I'm gonna get money to save my daughter's life. So, was he stealing after all this? Yep, he was just a regular Joe stealing money, probably. Electro went back to just being some nerdy-ass scientist. Um, or janitor, I guess. What was he? I think he was just, like, a fucking janitor. I don't know. But, yeah. He went back to that. No, uh, electrical powers. Um, and so he never fought Peter in the grid at the end of that movie. It's kind of hard to say. I think the whole Green Goblin thing still happened there. So, yeah, I'm sure that didn't change Gwen dying. Gwen's still dead. Um, so, Norman Osborn didn't die, right? So, um, he's still alive. Which kind of makes me question the whole Otto Octavius thing. Like, maybe he still did fund Otto Octavius. And maybe the whole mishap still happened. But with Norman alive and actual funding and shit, I don't know. Maybe they did it correctly and he never even got the fucking tentacles fused to his body. But be that as it may, Harry never turns into New Goblin and Sandman gets cured, you know, like halfway through the fucking movie. So essentially the ending fight is just Spider-Man versus Venom um, because that whole symbiote thing still plays out the same way. But he has no help from Harry because Harry's just a regular Joe. And yeah, who knows how that fucking battle would've went. Just one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and I forgot about the fucking lizard. Yep. Yep. Kurt Connors gets cured, and so he doesn't turn the city into a bunch of lizards at the end of that movie. With Electro getting cured... I don't know. I still feel like Andrew gets fucked over because... 
technically the Green Goblin kills Gwen, and nothing happens in No Way Home to change Dane DeHaan's storyline. Um, so essentially, Andrew still gets fucked over. But, you know, Toby fights Venom, and all the other villains get, you know, I guess rectified or whatever. So that's about it, guys. I just wanted to rant about that real quick. Uh, you know, if you have a different opinion, cool. Let me know down below what you guys think. Or if you agree with me, awesome. Um, if you have any other theories, feel free to let me know because it's a, kind of an open forum. There's a lot of different opinions on this. I was just stating my own. Um, but yeah, I think them curing the villains was bittersweet because it kind of affected all the other movies. And uh, essentially it changed the storyline all the way from Green Goblin to the Sandman movie. So yeah. Alrighty then. Peace out, motherfuckers.